Ha, én folyom, de. Hello. Hi, day on day in bon. Ha, én folyom, de. Hi, Grandma. Dorothy. Get some. There we go. Hi, Grandma. Hold on, she'll be here in just a second. Okay. <laughs> They're on their mom. Yeah. They're on there. Yeah, I was reaching these. Okay. <clears throat> Worry about all this chaos up there. Okay. Together. Hello. Hello. Ah, uh, so two other people. Ah. Oh. Hi, Grandma. Hello. I got oh yeah, I've been reading about all the galas. Oh, I am poyomda. Oh, I poyomda. I got the key to a a hop. I got go to on tanda. On the only day I told you, I said my day went good. I'm happy that. Everybody's getting to travel around. And when you get at this age, hey, good, yeah. Yeah, my bed. Kind of get the my bed means it kind of gets a little difficult. My bed, like having to, uh, you got to pack your medicine, you got to <laughs> pack everything. Right. <laughs> and sometimes it's just not worth getting, you know. You got to worry about home and then what you leave there and then what you take and then being, uh, you take extras because you're afraid something might <laughs> I'm just trying to get better. The guy yeah. was left on an exciting Washington, D.C. lead the parade, our veterans, I thought, but it's a mixture of Kiowas. And uh, they got a pretty good welcome in uh, Cherokee. I guess there's some Kiowas living there. North Carolina. Oh, good. I was so uh -huh. tickled. They had a welcome. Oh. Kiowas on their sign. I haven't Otherwise, heard um, anything yet. I talked to my nephew. He's with them. Uh, don't give me. What was said? He, uh, they wanted to do a, not a bust of him, but a whole sculpture piece. Wow. And I wonder what happened to that that kind of slowed it up. I'm going to keep asking until I find out because that'd be really good. Oh. And after the voting yesterday, um, well, the first headline, were well, not headlines, but the Lawton paper, I looked down at had troops getting ready to deploy to Korea. Today's news. And I got some way because it's the same thing when the Korean War started way back when. And we knew people that left then. Oh. It's kind of heartrending. You, you'd look, I, 
I'm every year, every time there's an election, I have to vote a different place. And my precinct changes so fast. Dang. And I didn't get there till about almost seven o'clock last night. And the polls were still open. And I said, I voted when General Eisenhower ran for president. And I've been voting since. And people always say, did you vote or do you vote? I, I, I imagine a lot of us are like that. I talked to Carmen Sato. We vote, always have. Ever vote winners or don't argue, don't complain. Right. I even used to go to vote for, we used to have all princess elections. And now we've had a Kiowa princess three different times this one year. And COVID sure ruined us. I know we got all mixed up. Yep, and I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out if we have a fair board. <clears throat> right. Well, when are we going to have a elect a president? We once done that by stand up vote at the fairgrounds, and the tribes voted by hand. And now we don't have a fair board, and when it is, I don't know who's appointing them. Just interest, because I'm Kiowa. I'm not trying to start it. But still, it doesn't seem, y'all could name me and say she's our, our Kiowa princess. Right. right. I've seen that happen before with an elder. <clears throat> was a Kiowa princess. I mean, was a princess. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of, a lot of, it was so different back in the day, but I'm tired of saying that because people get kind of tired hearing back in the day. Of course, it was better a long time ago because we had folks that knew what to do. Oh. Yeah, we just, Giving ourselves our names, not going to the trouble of having somebody name them. There's some families that have the same name for three or four different people. It just, it, it could never instill all of that in one lifetime. It has to be something yeah, that. I don't understand. I, would, you know, I, I don't know. Honda. You know, you I was given my name at a car. You don't necessarily, you know, you you would use Cedar and prayer and you can get named instead of just saying, that's my name. And a lot of y'all are reaching that point where you can You'll be a grandma sometime in the near future, and you have every right. It's, there's no, I, I don't, I, I wouldn't dream of naming grown, you know, Kiowa men. Mm -mm. But you have a right to do the other, and nobody's going to do it for you. I see things. Aww. Monday. Because now you guys, when you're going to teach it, you're going to find people that they'll call you and ask you a question. I was asked today, I get calls like that. I said, how would you address Kaiwas? Would you just say, Goy, this is Goy. 
And I said, no, you have to say, go my ye ado. Or they say, or somebody will tell you, that's not goy. No, you don't do say it that way. You have to say, goy kakoba, or goy gu e do. Goy gu e do. Yeah, we are kaiwas. Or goy kakoba e do. That's more formal. But you don't just say goy. And Really? And then I heard the woman say, did you hear her say that? And I said, yeah, who is this? And it was uh, Carmen Sato and uh, Norma Apiton. You know, just trying to clarify something, because when we're alone and we can't have somebody else tell us it, it was right or wrong, that's a hard decision to tell somebody. You might be telling them wrong. Oh, so goiguma. Is that like Kiowa woman in it? No. No. Goy my ye ado. Goy my ye ado. I'm a Kiowa woman. Goy my ye ado. Yeah. Goy Grandma, my my Monday in Kaito. Go ahead. Um, this is Melody. Is uh. So when, when people say that, when they just say goy, that's, would you consider that slang term? Yes. Like not proper? Yeah. And say, that's not goy. Well, you're saying it wrong anyway, if you say it that way. <laughs> you know. uh, so goy gu ba da. Yes. Or you can uh, formally, uh, either way, goy gu e da. Koi gu e da, or koi, koi ma a da. Yeah, or do you want to say ma yi? That's oh, more. koi gu ma da. Koi, koi ma a da, oh, or yes. koi ma yi a da. Yeah. Or that, that's that, when you're saying that I'm a Kiowa woman or I'm a Kiowa lady. Yeah. And then you could also say, Koi gu e do. If I was telling someone we're Kiowa people, you know, if there was like us, we're sitting here, koi gu ba do. Ba do. Yeah. And two men or anybody, uh, if you had a, if you had a, a friend, go main do. Go. Gome da. A da. This is oh, my gome a da. Yeah, this is my friend. Gome. Like G O M E, but you say you put the emphasis on the front part. Gome a da. Gome a da. Yeah, and I tried to tell that to one of our Kaiba leaders, but he still insists on calling his friend Gome. Am I? Yes. Grandma, I gotta step away for a minute. I'll be right back. Okay. So he was he was saying his friend to come here, in it. Yeah, but he was saying gom. Well, it sounds good because in English you would probably you would you could get away with saying friend, come here. Oh, but that's oh. what it sounds like in Kiowa. You 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 only use that as a description. Gome da. Gome da. This is my friend. A gome da all our years. We've been friends all our lives. <clears throat> so uh, gome is friend? Yeah. Oh. Gome Like I'm taking a little trip with my girls this weekend. And I said, you mean we can't carry no gome in our, in our purses? Will they throw them away? Still? I haven't flown in a long time and I'm scared to death. Go May? Yeah. That's when you take leftovers at a at a dinner. Oh, I love leftovers. <laughs> Go May. Go May. Okay. And then you remember when they used to call the little brown bags? Yeah, Asan. Yeah. And you say Huckle May, but oh, 
hog that you take some leftovers. And that's what they call it. But if you translate it, gom is a friend and a is bread. So you take that to snack on the way, gom a. And that's what we done. My aunties, my girls, the aunties of the chairman, they fixed gome for those men. I said, Hyundai, they, they're rich. There's uh, Meskwaki and people from up north doing black leggings. They fixed them a big gome bag with chips and energy drinks and stuff to take when they went back. Oh, so it's like a large bag of food. Yeah, where you take... Or, oh, I'm going to take part of your gravy. I love that, you know, with something, you know, if you put it in a container. That's all gome. Gome. Now, would that, is that G O or is that G O O M? Uh, I just count, I just, uh, I do not, I'm like Dolores, I don't spell. But gome is the closest I could come as G O E to pronounce okay. it. Okay. Oh, gome. Okay. Because I, I, it sounded like you were saying go, G O. So go. Then, yeah. Okay. Maybe. Okay. And then, like, uh, and something G O that I could think of, go, be. Go, be. Those are captives. Captives. You know, like, when they, if they went into Mexico and captured some of their citizens or something. So they, like uh, white oh, captain. Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> um, what's that? Uh, or did they, they use, Oi, you, Would you say Dokoy Gobe? Or Gobe Dokoy? You could, but let's see. White I, captive. Yeah, it's passable. You know that uh, I hear a little, remind, but you hate to say anything, you know, right? Correct them, but just uh, say it at the next, at the next time so the person won't. I just now seen something on Facebook where they're laughing at a guy because he's trying to, this is another tribe. But they're they're laughing at him because he's trying to pray in his language. And it's so true, somebody put on there. This is the reason we do not try to take it because you people laugh at us, even the ones that are sitting around, not the teachers. And that was kind of bad, but I don't see it anymore, you know, from you guys are above board trying to learn. Well, you learned it already. But they did. They used to they giggle and stuff. The internet keeps kicking me on once in a while. I'll be back. Only time, time I laugh if you call you say it's empty to me. <laughs> <laughs> but same day also it could be a special person. Or did, yeah. did something special. But it looks like it's going to re. And then I read the flyer for the Victory Club in Carnegie. Gosh, they have a good staff, and it sounds like it's going to be good. Oh. But they always have had something on November 11th at Carnegie Park, even before Gordon came back. I remember sitting on benches with, they'd have those uh, regular gasoline lights and the drummers shared little bitty benches and there were tobacco cans all around for their cigarettes. <laughs> it just, things it's going to be cold. It's going to be cold this weekend. Yeah. That's why I remember the eleventh hour of the eleventh day, the eleventh.
It was the summer, November 11th. I mean, it was July the 4th dance at Carnegie. And mind you, when I started going there, there was no chord dance because they hadn't revived it yet. It was just intertribal, like social, big tree, stuff like that. Over at Chieftain Park? Yeah. And uh, see, they revived, they revived the gourd dance around 1957 or 58. Same with Tonkongot. Uh, so after that, but I, I remember our folks would go on a wagon and they would have a tent there for camp there. But it's at Carnegie Park. I always think of how many hundreds of tracks are probably the people's people's tracks that everybody went to Carnegie Park. Oh. You know, that was, and, and it turned strictly, well, mainly just to gourd dance after the 58. Yeah, when I danced there, it was gourd dance. Yeah. So, I was early. I was like seven. Grandpa yeah. James brought me there. He the silver horns aren't really powwow people. But he heard that I like to dance, so he brought me over there. In my memory, the silver horns they had two that were James Silverhorn's brothers that served in World War II. Chester Silverhorn. Oh. He was with the 82nd and 101st Airborne Division. It's a hero. Wow. And the other one served in the same outfit with uh, my brother, Roland. His name was Arthur Silborn. And they were the, the children of, uh, they were James's brothers. Right. Oh. And Hattie was their mother, the, the calendar Silverhorn. The, the exact the one that done the calendars. I I can I knew people that far back. Wow. It's my dad That's... was a diplomat. He went around and he knew all of the ancient ones. So when I quote, I can see it because I seen it. Talkun was and Talkun was their mother, Hattie. Oh. And that's Velma Root's grandma. I have the uh, three, they were called, hang on a minute if I can bring that up because I just gave that to somebody in the family. Uh, they were looking for, so it, let's see, that's not it. This was, this was in the days of Korea. My husband was getting deployed and we went across the field where James Silverhorn was running a meeting at the Augie Goat place, but he was running it. And it was Charlie Apeco and all of them old peyote guys. They had no qualms about taking my husband and Florine's husband in the teepee to pray for them in the morning, you know, with their baby. No qualms whatsoever. They didn't say, oh, they're Tokoi or something, you know, no. They prayed for them before they went. And, you know, and then through the middle, we had so many self-righteous people that pretty soon they just allow certain people. But that was James Silverhorn and Charlie Abe Cohn, Tom Little Chief. All the old guys. Oh, I have the family of gathering of feathers. And that's uh, Dohasen second and Dopai. Yeah. And um, uh, let's see. His three wives, Ahate, Yate, and Sepoodle, Winterbird. Does that sound familiar? Yes. Then uh Sepahoodle, Sepoodle, uh Hong, let's see, Hongu, Hongu and Tom uh Tongum. 
Togum was Hangu's wife when they had all them kids, you know, uh, let's see. I think that would be, that's not Grandpa James, that would be his, his dad. So, old man Silverhorn. He was the uh, calendar, wasn't he? Yeah, yep. Yeah. He was, his birthday was eight, uh, he was born in 1861 and passed away in 1940. Yeah. Seen him, actually, seen him. Um, the one that wrote the book, what's her name? From that done oh, the Candace, Candace Green? Yeah, I told stories when she had the lecture over at the museum and one of the museums in Santa Fe about four years ago. And mine were Sundays, hers were silver horns, so, you know, the book. And I, I have a signed version of that. And it was really interesting. Marilyn was still alive, or Marilyn, Rosaline's daughter. And she went with us. I was going for that. It was so. Oh, Marilyn or Marilyn. Yeah. She is so funny. I have some good so, pictures of her. I can. still have her flower from her. I have to bring back to her. Yeah. I took one of her flowers from her grave and brought her with me all over the place. We went to Santa Fe, everywhere. So it's brought her bringing her flower back to her this year, or uh, in February. I gotta somehow get dad his first anniversary memorial. Yeah, we took Trevor to eat on that. Yeah, her son. Uh-huh. Oh, I got yeah. a grandson named Trevor. Yeah, on her anniversary. Aunt dad. Rosine was something else. She. I love her to death. She was just something else. She was always, always fixing me tea, sweet tea. She had some and good tea. <laughs> Trevor drives over here about a couple of times a week and <clears throat> have machines and stuff set up in the garage. And they, like they're little boys, they hook up on them, play those games or whatever they are. I never looked at them. But it, Linda's my daughter. That was Marilyn's, one of her best friends. And I was there when Trevor was born. I was with uh, his Rosalie. It's famous. Where's what are we gonna do tonight? Come for your night. I'm going on a, a little trip uh, this weekend. It's a quick one. And during the night before last, I was coming out of one of my doors in my room. And just gracefully and without saying anything, I fell down. Yeah. Oh. It's slow motion, so I could think. To, <laughs> I knew I was falling, and I... To break my fall, I fell on my knees first, and I thought, oh, heck, I'm going to have to holler or use my phone. I was so proud of myself, I was able to get up. Oh, good. I had to crawl, <laughs> crawl to a chair and put my elbows on there, and it's what I hit. So it's the hardest place to hit because um, you have to use that elbow so much when you're putting your right to even get up out of a chair. Bandages on it. You might know. <laughs> I fall what? down. And Velma Ruth said, how come you keep falling? One time I said, oh, I average maybe three or four times a year. Said, Lose your step. I did last week. I fell in front of the hospital. I was going to see my, my mother-in-law in the hospital and dang, I was walking 
fast and on a sidewalk and I just fell down and I don't know, I bruised my rib pretty good. <laughs> but, but see, slow motion. You to, and you used to, I used to kind of look around to see if anybody was looking and now I don't even care. I just <laughs> Oh, God. They have so many things going on. I turned my deal on today and our Anadarko Indian Club was at OU Dancing. And oh, had, I see. And they had the Miss Indian uh, Oklahoma pageant this weekend. And, and they had the AARP people? Did yeah, they have yeah. They had theirs today. I wanted to nominate and I didn't get a chance. My my four buddies, Dolores and uh, Dolores Harriger and then uh, Judy Carter and uh, Joyce Vineyard. Well, I know Dolores uh, made it. I think those other two were too. They told me they were going to. I got it about 10 years ago or sometime I did. For storytelling. Oh. And such Story. as. That was hey. you that was in Chicago, wasn't it? Did yeah. Did you go up there for the Smart Museum? Yeah. Okay. And you know what? Over here, it used to be at night and Cricket and her husband had a dance troupe. And they always had the show with that. And it usually was in the evening. And they, you had the option to have eight to a table. And it was just real deal that COVID ruined all of that. Yeah. There's they a gave lot of it one o'clock today. Yeah, I got it. My brother Mac did about 20, 15 some odd years ago. Actually, I believe I believe that's probably over. They're having something else at that place. I've never been there, the opening of the Indian scissor tail or what it is. Mm -mm. I was watching the Anadarko Indian Club. They're pretty good. Man. Girls dress so good. And the boys look nice. They got good teachers. Melody. Hyundai. How many of us are here? Um, right now, there's us, uh, Miss Brenda, Kathy, and Courtney. Why don't we talk? I don't give you all a chance. You'll, uh, Hyundai Baum tonight. What are we going to do? Hyundai Baum. Hmm. Hyundai well, on day by um, what are we going to do? On day by um, yeah. On go higher botendo. On go higher botendo. Whatever you guys want. Oh. On day inside, though. Uh. Uh, how do you say fry bread? Is there a Kiowa word for that? For what? Fry bread. Fry bread. Oh, a don. Oh, it's grease. Oh, a don. Oh, a. Is your bread and then a don is flour. Oh, a don. Oh, hey, doll. Yeah, and if you if you translate it, it's grease bread. Grease bread. Yeah. Oh, it's grease. Uh huh. 
fat and a thong. And that's the only way I've ever heard it pronounced con a in Kiowa. Oh, a oh, you get have that sound. Oh, a yes. Now is that T D A W? With the T D? I don't oh. know. I, I don't know the spellings at all. Oh, a thong. Oh. Yeah, it's a pop K in the beginning and then it's a kind of a TD sound for the last TD. syllable. Okay. All right. Oh. 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 A. Oh. Perfect. So I, I, I made some today for school. Did a culinary class. <laughs> <laughs> the first time. Like oh, that's good. Go ahead. Mr. Noel, when he worked at, when he was the, the superintendent at Riverside, we were fixing some one time, just plain fry bread, you know, for the students. And one came by and said, you got some whipped cream? And he did a, looked at him and said, oh, God, it was the first time, you know, they asked for honey now. And uh, we have a, a very respected veteran. His name is Ray Doya. He goes to the JJ Fry Breed Sales. Uh -huh. And he'll take his syrup out of his pocket and buy a fry bread. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I used to like to dip my fry bread in syrup, too. Oh. My mom used to make the syrup peanut butter mixture. Oh, that's so good. Go ahead, Melody. I'm sorry. I just. Oh, no, it's all good. It's, I love hearing the words that you say and as you teach us new words. Um, it, <clears throat> one day. I would, if you would do it with me or if some way, whatever the ladies want uh, I've been wanting to like say the word that is or something like that she I try to repeat after you yeah and the way you say fry bread the way you ask that we could make a little recording every week of uh, like oh eight oh fry bread oh eight oh fry bread and are you going to the dance? Going. Or home to Auburn. Home to Auburn. Are you going to the hand game? Stuff like that that we use, just little things, little statements, and pronouncing them. So it's uh, one little, you guys know that one little inflection can make it turn into another word. Uh, Another sentence. Oh, I, uh, I'd, gladly, I'd gladly do that if somebody wants to. Grandma Honda and Taipa. Oh. Would you be okay with uh, posting those type of recordings on a website on the internet? Yes. Well, then, uh, Stephen and I have an idea for you. Okay. <laughs> We, we could do that. And, you know, these sessions that we have, they're all recorded. So all I have to do is go find, you know, the words when we say them, and I have to pull it out and edit the video. But uh, we already have a lot of it. I just have to pull it out and, you know, create yeah. a little tiny recording of it. And then we could put it online, and it could be like your own, I don't know, it'd be kind of fun to call it like something like grandma says or something like word of the day, grandma says or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Solo tali toga. And today uh, I seen something on Facebook with Dr. Kennedy when I I just went to do that for with the Kiowa tribe for to talk about to talk about things with the tribe 
and I didn't expect anything but a meal, but they gave me a blanket. But I liked what he put on there because he said, Go to Mdo Tali. And you see, you could say, Go to Mdo Tali. And then you'd be saying, I love you, little boy. But he said, he spelled it the way it sounded. Go to Mdo, because I'm an old woman. And okay. the older they were, you referred to them as Tali. Oh. And I could tell how, how he meant, you know, some people put Tali, but that's a little boy. But he put goat dame do Tali. And so he was calling you grandma? Oh grandma. Oh grandma. Wow, we like okay. work on a ton saying uh, see. Work on a ton. Ta, I see. Grandma's old spider grandma. When you're old. And then the other one is uh, Ali Sonhi. Oh, calf grandma. When you're lucky enough to reach old age. There's even, uh, you know, names for that. And I'm honored when I'm called that now. Then they used to pray until your goon caved in. That's how much you, uh, they would pray for a long life and say, until my ribs cave in. And I'm reaching that point and I'm just like, I'm just glad I'm here to spend it with you. Oh, I hope and, they, they're here. And that's why, um, if y'all ever peeped in on the Clementi class, if I say something, Rachel has it typed up right behind me. Oh. And she can go back and make her connections. And that then, I'd gladly do that melody for this class for, with the girls. And I'm not insulting y'all, y'all are girls to me. So what she does is she makes um, she we say you say a word, and then she types it up, and then she print or she uh, gives it to us after class yeah. on what learned for that class. Yeah, and sometimes it's just random uh, sentences, but I gladly do that just for a booklet melody with with Steve. Awesome. Huh? Oh. Okay, well, we'll start putting something together, Grandma. Uh, uh -huh. Um, Hatsawanatonga. We learn Kiowa together. Three, what? No. We learn Kiowa together. Like we're learning Kiowa together. Goi Goitongya Yak Kole Haiga Han O Goi Gu Goi Han O Goitongya Eight Mohemo Han O or you, you could say us, you know, the, all of you, little, you young ladies. Go ahead, don't get eight, call hey, Mohema. See, it's like Kaiwa, it's backward. Go ahead, don't get first. Eight, call hey. Together, we are learning. Go ahead, don't get. Eight kole mohema. Go ahead, don't get eight kole mohema. Play the Go ahead, don't get eight kole mohema. Go ahead, don't get eight kole mohema. Got it. Eight kole mohema. Kole. Eight kole. Eight kole. 
ما ماهیم 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 ما یس ها I've seen some Indian shows someplace. You know what? And everybody on there had an Indian name. I've looked at so many clips of different things. And it was so neat. Uh, Hyundai and Saida. Uh, so we're talking about learning Kiowa. Oh, wow. it's if you're talking about yourself, you'd say, Boy, to get get more ham. Goy. to get more ham. Kai will talk. I'm learning. Goy, to get. More Gat is yeah. like the T. Gat, G Y A T. Go it to get more More Get more More. M A U. Got go it to get more Oh, get more Okay. I'm, I'm learning how to talk, Kyra. Right, okay. Weren't we supposed to have a prayer? <laughs> yeah. I mean, weren't we supposed to all uh, have yeah. our own of a, a prayer? I'm still working oh. on my... I'm just looking through my papers, ain't they? <laughs> Did, did any of you see Anadarko High School? Yeah, not high school, uh, Indian Club or um, the, our Indian education. Did y'all see them today at uh, Norman? Honey, I'll have to look on the videos. They looked good. And uh, that's Joe. The I think it was Joe. Brenda, was, it's uh, David and them. They went, huh? Yes, they did, um, but he didn't go. It was their dance troupe from this high school and junior high. They look really good. It made me want to dance. <laughs> that's that's good. I'll have to tell them. It's, they're dressed properly and this sure had some good songs. For a while, I thought I heard Vision melody. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. They're really good. And that little uh, Santicoy boy, he can dance. He'll get mad at me every year. So I said, little. He's turned into a really nice young man. I know it. Polite. I just love those kids. Grandma Dorothy, are you going to uh, be able to go tell stories with them? Or did that already happen? Uh, on the eight, uh, at the school? On the oh, eight, yeah. On the 18th. Oh, good. And it was Joel Lucero. And so I said, yes, oh. I'm still able to talk. And so... Brenda, he called me the other day and asked if I would come on Friday the 18th. Yogurte wants me to start at sunset at 8.30. Oh, my goodness. All day long then, huh? Uh, and a break and then going back at 1, you know. So I can do that as long as I don't have to stand. 
I'm very glad. I wanted you to come up to class already while it was still warm, but I'm gonna have to wait, I guess. I haven't I haven't got to ask you, but I wanted I wanted you to tell about uh Palidoro. Yeah. You know what? They had a showing of Daughter of Dawn uh on Sunday in Ponca City. And it was our it was our project when we our our session that we're doing right now, identifying and everything. There's only two Comanches in there, and it's those two Parkers. The rest are all Kiowa. It's their, all their own clothes, their own teepees, their own everything. And they always fail to say that. And I don't know who to reach anymore to, to tell them that. And then Riverside, I heard, I uh, got the news that they tore the old gym down. That broke my heart because I put on there today a part of the history of Riverside died because that was the last piece we had that was eligible for the register. It just needed a, a signature of a representative of one of the tribes. The rest all signed. This other one wouldn't do it. And it went, or it, that's what they told me. They've got everything, the bulldozers ready. I said, I can't come out there. I'll probably cry. We used to do our voting in there. We done powwows. We done boxing matches. We done World War II. Everything was in there, done at Riverside. That was the last part now. We're tribes from all over the United States now. So we can't teach Kiowa. I wish they would get the program out there again, but I doubt if she will. It died with uh, Mr. Sims and our boss then, the woman. I loved her. It was so nice. Grandma, I really thought they were going to do it. I thought they were going to make that a historical, you know, building. It just needed one more signature in the Wichita. It was at the time, the chairman then. Oh, that's too bad. So it's gone. I, they tore it down. It's what I... You guys, like she mentioned, Peladuro, we need to go out there and get that story straightened out, too. It was the Kiowas that had their last trail of tears from there on that wrinkled hand chase. And then we got into prison at uh, Fort Sale, and that was the end of our free life. Oh. And on that, their uh, Peladuro. Uh, what is it called? A park service? Yeah. They show a little blurb or a little spot on there saying that it was a sacred place to the to the Native American people. But they just mentioned the Comanches. They don't say nothing about Kiowas. I said, oh, I wish they could correct that. So hopefully yeah. sometime. I mentioned the historical society even. I even said, we're Kiowas, you know, and they wouldn't... Uh... And state of Texas, they have a show they have there every summer, and it's called Texas, and their cast is Comanches. And I objected to that because it was Poor Buffalo and Mamante that, that uh, led that. They were the last holdouts. We never... Never been able to clarify that. I wish somebody, I wish somebody would write a letter to the state of Texas. And just uh, two years ago is when they started letting us in free. Otherwise, it was eight dollars a piece. We got that far on it, and that's it. I got the names of the two Comanches. They live in Texas. 
Grandma, does the Clemente class uh, still go down there? We were going this year, and then we had uh, different things that happened that uh, didn't permit it. And I would like to go just some weekend when it's going to be good weather. The last time we went, we, there was had a tornado warning. <laughs> were y'all on that one when we had to ride back to the tornado behind us? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it got stormy. That was crazy. It's worth the trip, you girls. And to see, and usually they all take the walk back there to where it actually happened. And I've been trying to get a, a hold of the tape where the general is telling a story about poor Buffalo singing his death song behind a rock because he was, they were going to die. Maggie Smokey, she just passed away. She was the last one that lived for a long time. We're to do so. Talk about that, Brenda. Okay, whenever you can. Yeah. Everybody's so busy right now. Different things. God, there's a lot going on. I haven't talked to Cricket. Has anybody seen her? Honey. And where's Dane? Um, I don't think he's gonna make it tonight. <clears throat> I don't see him on here. And then uh, I got a message from uh, Judy. Uh, Judith, and she said uh, she is driving, um, I guess, to one of their uh, children's, uh, anyway, they're driving out west somewhere for a wedding. Well, what y'all want to do? Hyundai by Omta. Well, let's see. Um, well, we today we were going to talk about um, Kiowa uh, grammar, which you kind of already uh, touched on a little bit, Grandma, um, when you're explaining the different, like the differences between when you're talking about us or we versus like me or I or you, like with the get and the eight. And yeah. it, you know when it, when it's appropriate to use them. So that was really helpful, a really helpful example. So if you have a, like other examples of like you know the different ways that we talk about things or talk to different people or different you know groups of people, that would be helpful. Go ahead. If you don't want to sing or whatever, or go ahead. Um, I'm listening. Go ahead, Melody. Um, okay. So basically it was, um, we kind of started talking about it. Uh, when was it? Was it last week? Or maybe the week before when we started talking about the, the commands and we watched that little video that Courtney and Alice Ann put together. I think that's a good way to kind of uh, think about uh, Kiowa grammar and like the structure of our language. Um, and, you know, thinking that when you speak to somebody, the you know, the way that you speak, it depends on who you're talking to and how many people you're talking to. Okay. Got you. Uh, cool. Let's see. So, um, let's see, Courtney or Kathy, um, do you have any uh, questions for grandma about 
any um, like sentences, ideas on sentences that grandma could translate so we could hear the different uh, use of the pronouns and the, I mean, yeah, the pronouns and the verbs. Oh, so I'm having problems with, um, with the introduction. Um, so when I'm saying Hyundai on day aim bone, Honde onde bat san, honde onde big goi don da and don. Is that how's that? So is them all like the same thing, but to different people? Honde onde aim san. Aim san. No, I'm just starting with that because I, you know, oh. Honde Onde and Son. I am, it is so good that you came. Honde Onde and Son. That you came. That you came. Okay. And then the other one is. Honde onde aim bon. I am so glad to see you. Honde onde aim bon. No N on it. Bon. It's one of those cut off. Yeah. I am so glad to see you. And if I seen you at the door, I would say, Honde onde aim bon. Or Honde onde aim son, aim hey, baby. You could say, Oh, I'm so happy you came. Come in. Aim hey, babe. Aim and if hey, it was two people or, or even up to three or on the on the matan. Ma hey, babe. I'm so happy you you got, you know, y'all, I hate to use it. I'm so happy y'all came. Y'all come in. My hey, babe. And aim hey, babe means you come in. Aim hey, babe. My hey, babe. That could be up to, you know, two or three people. Two or three people. And then if it was uh, maybe 10 or 15, you would say, Honde onde batsan. Bahebe on the on the but son, I'm so glad you all came. Bahebe, it would be so good if that the sounds were recorded, you know, like on the on the aim son, I'm happy you came on the on the but son. I'm glad one or two of you came, or three, and then more than a dozen. Honde onde but son. Honde onde but son. That's uh, over 10 people, or, you know, whatever. Uh, so, or, or there's another one. It's honde onde bobo. Honde onde bobo. I am so happy to see you all. Ba boom. Ba boom. Ba boom. Yeah. And you, That's you guys don't know how good you're pronouncing those. Oh, I hope. So the one <clears throat> that you guys wanted me to read on the radio, I still haven't read this one. Yeah. And then, get... and then if you're telling somebody to stay, just Basically. one person, such as your child or somebody, you know, if they're wanting to go with you, well, you say, Mtade. Mtade. You stay. You stay. Mtade. And that's just a private conversation like with oh. your child or somebody. 
Okay. Because you're going to hear that. It sounds like ear, but it means you stay. And do game tore, you stay at the house. It doesn't say home. Im do game tore. Yeah. You stay home. Abanma. Abanma. I'm going. Abanma. Abanma. And if you're going out the door or you're going right then, you say, hey, go abanma. Hey, go abanma. Hey, God, Bonma. Hey, God, Yeah. I'm going now. You know, nobody even looks up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bother to move. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm on my way. Toodles and nobody even looks. <laughs> They're all too busy with their heads and their phones. So I have this word, Honde Honde Bay Goy. It is so good that we're talking in to Kiowa. So that's, that's not reading. Yeah, that's the, I'm just happy Honde Onde that we're able to talk Kiowa. You know, like inner like talking together. Oh. We're talking to each other. Honde onde bekoi tonto. Oh, no. Honde onde bekoi tonto. Honde onde bekoi tonto. Yes. And this is just way out of left field, but you say, God, being so ain't on. What am huh? I saying? What am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> Go on, eh? oh. Something about uh, eating? No. no. Hand me a fork. <laughs> 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 Just something you're saying at random, you know. Or it's oh, on, eh? oh. Give me a spoon. Oh, eh? oh. And oh, oh, that's a knife. <laughs> Oh, oh, pinson and pinson. Well, I was close to something to eat with, isn't it? <laughs> I got pinson. Pinson. The table is ready. You know, the meal is ready, is what you're saying. I say that too loud, Uncle Charlie be running out of the room. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> pinson. <laughs> And the meal is ready. Get pizza. Is it all being all bean saw? Yeah. 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 All bean what? Yeah, all bean what? It's yeah, bean saw. Oh, yeah, bean saw. Yeah. Correct, Melody. Yeah, bean saw. So. Yeah, bean salt. Yes. Salt oh. is like you would say it's sharp, but it's pronounced S like in shopping. Oh. A, A U L. Salt. Okay. Yeah, bean salt. Okay. Bean salt. Yeah. Yeah, bean salt. Yes. Oh, bees. And Don't then say that. Gapisol. Ready to eat. Ready? Yeah. The the meal is ready. Meal yeah. is ready. The, me, the, the meal is set. Gapisol. Gapisol. Okay. And bad breath is salt poop. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> It even sounds nasty. That's your mouth. So, and then uh, I like so. this one. 
I like this one. It's getting, it's way off left field, but it's a uh, Edoy Talker. Edoy Talker. They gave me a shot, um, you know, a regular injection. They shot me with medicine. Shot you know how they give you a regular doy is medicine. Goy. And talk though is like shooting. And isn't that something they had to improvise that? You say. Bot like tail, can you say it again? What's that? that uh, giving a shot? Yeah, doy is medicine. D, D like in dog. O Y E. Uh -huh. Doy. Talker. Talker could mean other things if you put it with another sentence, but this is an injection, like a shot, a morphine shot for pain. A doy talker. A doy talker. Yes. A doy talker. That's a regular, like a, even a vitamin shot or any kind of injection. Okay. A doy talker. Yeah. And uh, Kathy, can you recognize? Which in that and what we just said, can you recognize which one is the pronoun? Taka, is it the injection? It means in English, it means you say they shot me. <laughs> and we do say they gave me a shot. So the car was improvised from that. It said they shot me with medicine. So shot me with medicine. So uh, a doy, is it, uh, well, she said doy is medicine. Yeah. A doy shot me, is that? Did you say a? A, a doy? doy taka or a yeah. doy taka? Yeah. That's Which when one? the time we in provisions when we didn't know what to call some. Such as automobile. It's a car, but we couldn't say it right. So we said automobile. Automobile. But we say automobile. Auto. And that's car. <laughs> Autodidle was what we called it first because the wheels were round. Cartable. We had a hard time giving English words to things we didn't know. Oh. It never fails to. So Melody, what, which one did you say the verb of the uh, medicine injection? Grandma, was that a doy or a doy? That was a pronoun. A. A. A, a okay. doy talker. A. a. Okay. A and pronoun, pronoun is who gave you the shot? They, they gave you the shot. Yeah, hey, do I talk? Hey, like if I went to the doctor and I came out, I'd say, hey, do I talk? Mm -hmm. They shot and gave me a shot. Mm -hmm. They gave they me shot. a shot. Okay. They shot me with more, uh, with medicine. Mm -hmm. So, so hey, do I hey, do I talk? Go. The mm -hmm. verb would be talk? Go. No. The, um, no. Oh, hey, yeah. Do yeah, talk. Go. I should get the shot. And is that a three part or is that a two part? Do I talk to this? I don't know <laughs> that part. Uh, they gave me. Is yeah. they, uh, they what's gave it called? Me. They a gave me. is they, yeah. A is they, so a doy. So they gave me. They medicine shot me. <laughs> medicine. <laughs> medicine shot me. Mm -hmm. That little, neighborhood, that little Navajo boy took his grandma to the doctor like that, and they said, told him in Navajo, he was he was translated. And he told his grandma, they're going to put you on there and see how much you weigh, and then they're going to shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I love that joke. <laughs> when they say they're going to weigh you and see how much you weigh, and then they're going to shoot you. Shoot you. <laughs> they're going to weigh you and see how much medicine they need to shoot you with. Good <laughs> 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 door talk, they do. Dang, it's cool. <laughs> I ran out there faster than I could run. Well, <laughs> Dorothy, how about this one where they say, um, I need by talk. Oh. <laughs> I know it. That one. <laughs> 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 <That's> scary. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> They're going to witch you. And, uh, what about, I told Tim Siddle at the time. I'm going to stay on that, don't get it. We need city. I said, you better not go full coon, they thought. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're going to witch you out here. Ooh, I, said, I said, yeah. when we come back tomorrow, I told him, and guy with your face going to be behind your head. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, he <laughs> said, hey, I didn't stay here. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't stay out there if you locked the gate on me. I'd walk home. <laughs> and how did you say that again? I don't know. It's I never studied it. Uh, never really said it, but it's I don't know. It's P O P E or Pot Unde. That means when you get Bell's palsy. Ooh. And Kaiwas used to think somebody witched you. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what happened. Uh, that's what we thought that happened to uh, our family here. Yeah. Back in it the can, 70s. It can happen and it makes you think that when you see somebody. You could, when I was a young girl, you could go down the street and know when somebody got into doctor because they'd have the the marks on their temples. You could know when somebody lost someone because their hair would be just cut up way up by the ear. They didn't style it afterward. They just cut it. Oh, like that. And but that can happen. Like you said. And they didn't say, I'm cutting my hair because I lost someone. You just knew by looking at them that they lost someone. Mm -hmm. At Kiowas. Pop Coon Day. Yeah. Pope Coon Day. <laughs> oh, Pope Coon Day. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, that's why I don't I don't pick up after anybody, especially feathers. Me either. Oh. Hang up, Beta. Hang up, Beta. That means uh, you're referring to your elders. They were always so careful. Ah, about returning your regalia. Now they even take my chairs out at Black Eagle. I said, I'm going to make around and I better not find my chair. <laughs> they done moved it on you. <laughs> yeah. One of you all took it last night. <laughs> Always get in trouble. <laughs> That's yeah. me too. Kyla is so fun. It's so, they've got so many slang words and things, you know, that there's nothing like Kiowa humor. Like, there's such an old Kiowa way, the ways are so strong that everybody's 
all day tali besides your own children were your fathers and women, it'd be your brother's children, the sons. And there's a saying that if they ever got insulted, you'd make them pay for it by action. And there's even a word in our tribe that's so profound. And you don't want to hear that as uh, being said to your brothers, your, your oldest. Anyway, they would say, oh, go look for your aunt. And inside, don't buy. And the ants always took that as a kind of a light verbal insult. Oh. And they'd find the person that done that and say, you come and eat. And you're going to eat till you fall, to fall over. <laughs> Won't you? you know, and in essence, that's what my daughter's done with their cousins for our chairman. You don't insult one of our and that's a general way to do it. Kai was always had a lot of finesse, even in that. Therefore, they would say, you know, they put on the meal, pledged it that same day because he was being called ugly. And they, they fed him. And that's supposed to be subject closed. We done it. But I couldn't resist that one in the paper about when the aunties, when we were called critters. <laughs> yeah, creatures. <laughs> creatures. I said, don't let the aunties come after you. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> and that's the best way I can explain that. And there's even a saying, you know, if you thought somebody was acting up, they'd say, I'm sorry, Tumba. Go hunt for your aunts. They were too respectful of their mo the mothers. Huh. And the ants were always willing to take over. I wonder what my sisters would have done if they heard that. They're all gone. Yes. So I put, and Max, one of my sons said, boy, these ants look like they're capable too. <laughs> yeah. That's how we put, you know, Marilyn and Dee Dee and all those girls were big, K.A. and Man, we'd be, <laughs> dang, <laughs> they'd be like, no, we can't mess with them girls, you know. <laughs> yeah, we had it, we had a, we had some, a bunch. Somebody, they were trying to take my husband, he's dark boy, but he's all right, he, he's a good guy, you know, and they'd, they'd tease him and they're like, oh, we're going to take him to this 49 over here, we'll be back with them later, you know, <laughs> like, no, 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 no. I says y'all get drunk and think he's Custer, you know. <laughs> I seen a, I seen Wolf and Hoveka sisters, the older ones, one time at Oklahoma. They were all dancing with their two stepping with their brother in law, Philman Barry. Darren was one was even in the back hanging on to his belt. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. They used to tease their in-laws, you know. And it was always good, clean. No, Kaiwa language is so beautiful because we have no bad words. That's what I like about them. We got Zilbe and Zemte and Sapol. Sapol, yeah. But you could even insult it and take care of it with graciousness. Because we were all raised by gracious women. And I say that for the whole tribe. Oh. They didn't just go calling somebody Tsokul or Tsokut. It's no shame or, you know, Tsokul. You didn't. Talk all this bad talking. And at Martha and Brenda. Yeah. And that's why I said the Kiowa princesses from the time, if the, your folks had aspirations for that, they raised you on how to be. And all Kiowa young ladies are gracious. 
It's just how we do, do our job after. But they were like trained for that. And I guess I'll never locate a kickball. I was hinting at Vanessa, but she didn't. <laughs> she, it, I'll just stuff a ball and show you all how to kick it. <laughs> Must be made with buckskin. <laughs> they already knew. And and the Kiowa tribe, I'll say it again, they produce the prettiest princesses. In fact, all Kiowa women. Okay. Hey got Fion. Yeah, I got a package in the mail and it was from it was candy. I my limit to candy is Hershey or or payday, and these are real good chocolates. Oh, that sounds good right now. Chocolate. I told you. Let what was the word for chocolate or candy or? I guess Baina. Baina, just sugar? Yeah. Eguko is a cake or cookies. And it's that means yellow, yellow bread. So your A sign had all your snacks in it. Uh -huh. A sun is your your snacks, your snack bag, and your gome is what you take leftovers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I just like it when they pack me a gome box and it looks like I didn't ask for it. <laughs> you could always count on an apple, orange, and banana. Grandpa James used to do that, and he he had sixty two grandchildren. Oh my so gosh! He would get all. Um, he would go to Fort Cobb and go get his crates of uh, apples and oranges and some nuts, some walnuts, and uh, Starburst candy, the um, peppermint candy, and he would make each but uh, he'd make bags for all of us. You know, whoever came and visited them, you know, we had time or whatever, but. Took the Riverside High School one year to the woods and I said, we're going to pick wet black walnuts. Ooh. They didn't even know what they were. Dang. <laughs> and darn, we used to have piles of those at the wood pile when I was growing them. With the rock and the hammer and everything. Yeah. Oh, Paladuro, too. Um, Paladuro. A couple of months ago, I seen a picture of a mountain lion. One of the rangers took off one down there. So Paladuro, Texas, is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Okay. Done a shooting of the picture set. Uh, St. Anja is a uh, grave site several weeks ago. And uh, that was interesting because off tribes and tourists, and there's more people at Fort Sill now. I thought of that because we usually went to Peladuro and then we go to Fort Sill to the Chief's Knoll and to that marker. And I thought, darn, it's uh, now we can't do that just freely. Hmm. Or he no, took a temporary. It was really touching, took pictures. And I was telling one of the students, I said, lean it around where the, the stone is and 
Evidently, somebody had taken little bitty pebbles and put them on the side of the stone. And on the other side was coins. I said, don't touch. Just when I said that, they brushed those little pebbles off. Ugh. Kids don't. now just don't understand. Mm -mm. Kicking birds got those on his. A lot of those that Chief Snow has uh, changed on him. That one time I went to see Geronimo's grave over there. Spill the money, honey. We we uh, we got stuck on a tillerary, right? That you know where they were shooting and all that. It was crazy. <laughs> we went too far. <laughs> That's Could, took all day to find it. Uh, yeah. But there's so many things to see. It's just so medicine bluff. Mm. Well, go ahead, Melody, Martha, Brenda. Hi, gang. We were going over sentences that you would use. Mm. Oh, <laughs> that's really helpful. Um, it's actually uh, for about 845. Mm. Um, so I didn't want to keep everyone, but uh, <clears throat> are there any other last questions? Oh, no. All right. Well, um, I'm going to, uh, so Grandma Dorothy from the recording today, I'm going to try to edit some little snippets and I'll play them for you so you can. So I'll try that this week. Okay. Um, and let's see, uh, Courtney, are you still on here? Hi, uh, Dave. Uh, <clears throat> Courtney, uh, can you obey dot sign? Uh, I'm going to pray. Obey dot sign. Do palma and ade. Aho daki eat age. Daki on the tide de get date data. A uh, e compero. Father in heaven, thank you for this day. Thank you for um, watching over all of our relatives. Um, <clears throat> want to say thank you for the time that you allowed us to gather um, tonight with um, some of our Kiowa people and honor our elders who have um, Miss Dolores Herrigera, who have done so much for our Kiowa people and our language program <clears throat> for teaching our uh, teacher candidates and um, sharing what knowledge she has. Lord, I pray that you bless her and that you watch over her and her family and continue to give her good health, Lord, and a good mind and being able to continue to teach us. And I pray that we can uh, continue to gather the way that we did uh, mm -hmm. this evening and also together on Zoom and learn from each other. And thank you, we say aho for each one of our elder mentors and the families and the homes that they come from and the knowledge that they bring. I pray that you can bless them and watch over them and continue to um, let us all continue working together and to be able to learn our language and be able to share it with our children. And I pray for all of our families and I pray for those that are um, 
experiencing the different weather and everything. And I just ask that you watch over them and be with them and take care of their homes and let them be safe. So I ask that you um, forgive us for when we fall short and um, oh. ask that you just uh, lead us in the, the path and that we can go in the direction that you want for us to. I ask that you watch over all those that are um, maybe experiencing something difficult or um, hurting this evening or maybe hungry and um, away from their families, wherever they may be, I pray that you watch over all of, all of our people all across the Indian country. And be with our leaders, take care of them, bless them, and be with our Kiowa our veterans that are traveling. Lord, bring them home safely. And um, we're so proud of them, and we thank you for their service, and we thank you for their lives, and just pray that you be with them. And uh, the daily things that they, they go through, we know that they deal with different things. <clears throat> Aho. Aho. Amen. Aho. Aho. Thank you for it. Aho. I am happy. I'm glad that you guys can, that I can be here with you guys and I appreciate it. Aho. Aho. Hey, go oi, bonta. Hey, go oi, don't tie. Hey, go get um. Night, everybody. See ya. Hey, go get um. Yeah. Are we finished? Ah. My get day, be don't sat the bar on. I thought we were going to all pray. <laughs> Our time. Oh. Yeah, that was uh, our Courtney said our closing prayer for us. Well, thank you all. I, <laughs> I'll see you. We'll see you tomorrow night, Grandma. Okay. Dorothy. All right. Love you. Love y'all, all, both of y'all, all of you. Martha, I wanted to sing a song, see if we could pass it here. I sang it one time because I remembered the grandma singing that when I said, we didn't have any off-color songs. But this is an old ancient one. And when I sang it to Gus's wife, my sister-in-law, Dolly, she about fell off her chair. She was dancing, uh, sing, uh, laughing so loud. It's the grandmas would sing it to their little bitty grandkids. <laughs> and it's got some words that are funny. Anybody on yet that want to hear it? Oh. Are we all women? Oh. One, no men? Because. Honey. Huh? Honey. Okay. Okay, Grandma used to clap her hands and she sing this. I know Martha and Brenda will probably catch it right away. Martha, you there? Martha. Oh, no, you... just Brenda's on. Okay, it says um, a Grandma could talk to you like that in private. And she's she, 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 uh, clapping her hands and she say. I'm tail little dog, I'm tail little dog, oh, more young P.I. sing. <laughs> and you be dancing, not knowing what she's saying. And she's saying, you're a little butt, and you're a little butt, and you smell like fire ashes. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> <laughs> and that sounds like some of our... Lesser grandmas, you know, that didn't go out too much. But I remembered that little rhyme, uh, but it should go down in history because the generation before me all knew what I would know what I was talking about. Well, when they say, but when, wouldn't it be Zal or something like that? No, it's a tale issue, but <laughs> because tale, T H A L E. Because Melody and I went over this because when you're riding on the back of a horse, 
or if you, after we got cars and you're riding in the back seat and I was telling Melody, if you drove up and you were driving and I was in the back seat, they'd say, Melody Hope, Ada, Melody drove up. Now, Dorothy Taylor, uh, yeah. Dorothy was sitting on the, in the back seat, but it means I'm sitting on the butt end of the horse. Because <laughs> <all of it. laughs> and there was no way to translate it a long time ago. But that, those were really Kiowa sentences. I'm oh. not getting off color. They're not, Kiowa's never went really off color, but those were cute little words. Im olkatogun. That means if you got ready to drive, it was like you jumped on a horse. Oh, Im togun. Yeah. Im togun. Yeah. And olka is to drive. Olka. Olka. Olka togun when you're going to drive. But it's in uh, they would refer to your last days on earth, especially the old men, when they were talking about something that was imminent, you know, coming, they knew it was coming close. They would talk it like you fell in uh, war, in battle. Mm. They would sing, say, like, now I don't know what y'all are going to do. When I take that long stretch on your stomach, you know, when you're hit by an arrow or something, I can't avoid it on the Honda Baum, though. I heard one of my brothers say that one time. But I heard it in conversations with our elders many times. And they talked about death like that, too. When I fall on my you know how you fall just full force and your hands are in front of you and like that. Oh. That's how they describe that. It kind of was like I'm talking about had so much uh, finesse. They never, that's why they never mentioned that too much. And we didn't hear it in mixed company at all. And that isn't even being near to obscene or off color. The cute little songs like that. Oh, but we didn't, we didn't talk about ladies things in front of the men. And no. I mean, that's like, you know, that's the way I was taught too. I mean, that, yes. that, you know, and modesty. Like, <laughs> I got a little miffed um, with this trip and I found out other people went, you know, with our veterans, but they must've went to care for, you know, some certain one. And so I said, oh, well, and I said, I better not say nothing because they asked me a long time ago if I was up to going. And I said, oh, no, I'm too old. I'm a woman. And I wouldn't be getting in no bus like that out of respect to my young veterans. When, with uh, Indian Ed, Mr. Sullivan's bunch, when the little guys, when we go to Oklahoma City, they'll have to push me up on the bus from the back. You know, kill me. <laughs> I, I wouldn't disrespect him like that. <laughs> and it really is true. And Carlos have that inner feeling. You know, you just, uh, uh, uh I wouldn't want them to, you know, be in front of them chewing food or stuff. I would even get out in front of them and uh, when they're dancing. And, it's just my it's, people. It's, it's because of out of respect that you don't. Yeah. We don't. But the little boys, you know, they're grand boys. So they pull me up, two of them, and <laughs> have to pull me by the arms. I wouldn't oh. dream, dream of doing that with adult, young, honorable Kiowa men. So especially in a mix, they should have mixed, they should have put the women in one bus. Mm. But who am I to decide? <laughs> yeah, things change a lot. And, and then when we do say something, then, well. If Martha, change. 
If Martha would have heard that little song, she'd have died laughing. <laughs> if she yeah. hadn't already heard it. Yeah. Well, I'll remind you next time when Martha's around. So. <laughs> so yeah. I'll record it for you, Brenda and um, Melody. Oh. <laughs> it's cute. It is cute. All right, Man. I gotta go. You okay? love you. Yeah, I'm leaving Friday. You're leaving Friday. Where are you going? I'm going to San Francisco, San Jose. Oh. My grandson's paying my way to come. Um, nice. Again, and I'll be back Monday. Oh, that's right. You're going to fly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be okay. I'm going to name the little boy. So. That's why I'm going. They'll yeah. take care of you on the plane. That'll be okay. Mm. My I know it's your birthday. And I won't be able to be silly. <laughs> I was debating whether to wear a tea dress. I don't know whether I should on that day. Or just the show. Tea dresses are comfortable, though. Yeah. So I see. Just for that, there's Kaiwas there. Uh, With a little apron around it. Yeah. So, we can't. All right. Go. I love you guys. I got to go. Good night. Okay. Good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey, got aim oi, don't. Hey, got aim oi, bone da. Oh. <laughs>